Welcome to Dark Days of Helsinki 2017. This time it's all about blue lights, which makes us look like a couple of Smurfs. And Smurfs we truly are only in death metal. So here we have Mr. the legendary LG Petrov, the man behind Entombed and Entombed 80 and many, many others. Too many to li list them all. So, welcome to Finland once again. How are you doing? Excellent. We just uh, got here. No sleep, uh, but many beers. So it's all good. Death metal. Death metal. Yeah. So, you've been active throughout the years in many, many, many bands. Too many to list them all. But this is the one to you, you are most known of with the AD added to that. Uh, what it is that keeps you going with so many years? This. <laughs> Beer and mushing. Beer and headbang. And uh, it never stops. I was just uh, talking to Carl from Mem Memoriam and, just, and he said, uh, said it also. We just do it. Because of love or beer? Or boobs. Love for beer <laughs> and uh, metal. So uh, it's, uh, it's just uh, another day, uh, another heavy metal day, so to speak. Another he heavy metal day in paradise. Yes. Yeah, or hell, or where, wherever you want paradise to be. <laughs> so uh, with M2 Daddy, you've done two full length albums. So what is going on in, in your camp right now? Uh, well, first, we're going to be here. Get uh, get a show, and uh, then uh, have some beers with the others, and then uh, go home and write a new album. When it's gonna be out? Anytime idea? Uh, um, next year, early, if the plans go as they uh, as it should be. So and then the the cycle goes uh, around again. You make the album, you release the album, then tour. So you have a kind of a veteran lineup in your band. Because those guys, including you, have played in many other lineups as well. But the thing is that many people want to know what is the dif main difference between Entombed and Entombed AD? Uh, it's the same thing. <laughs> Just some uh, minor complications on the way. But uh, we are here and playing music and headbanging, and that's the most important. But uh, it's, the, it's the same. It's the same. What kind of legal stuff has been going on in, in, because you had to like add to these two letters? Ah, we don't think about it. We just uh, let it let it roll. As long as we are out, we're, no, nobody can stop us. So what kind of stuff inspires you to do music and lyrics these days? It's boring to sit at home. <laughs> no, you can always uh, be productive and, uh, I mean, and uh, be out on tour, have no sleep, uh, you know, come, but that, that all, doesn't matter when you come to the show and you see uh, your brothers in metal, then it's it's all worth it, you know. So you were one of the originators of a very famous Swedish death metal and the so-called sunlight sound, but you evolved, you've changed a bit throughout the years. What is the story behind this change? Is it all about aging or just something else? No, I mean, uh, as you <coughs> go on in life, you. Uh, Experience new things. You want to try out other things, but and so and Tomb has always tried to do that. Maybe more, more than for our own good sometimes. But uh, but now we're just going straight forward, and uh, yeah, we just do it again, <laughs> over and over again. And uh, as long as you don't get tired of it, we just continue. And if you get tired of it, you should quit. You don't do it because uh, if you don't like it, just step aside and let it uh, roll. You know. You have also personally. You have other active bands also going on. Um, can you tell anything about them? Them. Yeah, I mean we have uh, the other band Fire Spawn, for example, and, and uh, it's making music while making music. You know, there's uh, there's always time for. Uh, for metal, basically, you know, it's, and, and it's it's good fun. It's good, make you makes you uh, makes you alive, you know, instead of just uh, sitting around doing nothing and expect somebody else to do it. You always have to do it yourself. So, besides Entomb, uh, Firespawn also has a 
really strong veteran lineup. Are you the magnet where all everything just gravitates towards you, or what is this thing with Swedish death metal being so great? <laughs> no, I mean we're all friends. Um, whether it be in, be in Gothenburg or Stockholm, they're, they're small towns, so uh, the the metal community is very well concentrated. And uh, like, all right, if we have time and we to do it 100 percent, why not? And then you. Yeah, we talk it over over a beer, and then you make more music, you know, and which are, in this case resulted in uh, Firespawn, and uh, it's good, it's good. I mean, it's like when we get home from here, you know, you you go and do uh, other things with other music bands, and yeah, it keeps you going, you know. So uh, it has been all, all often listed that uh, Sweden, Finland, and also Norway have. Uh, lots of metal bands, especially versus the population. What do you think is the secret in this Nordic magic, so to speak? <laughs> no, I mean, it's, not, uh, it's a feeling that goes on. I mean, uh, it's like it has nothing to do with uh, because it's dark or something. I mean, people just uh, love it, basically. You know, and uh, like tonight in Helsinki, uh, Amorphis are playing across the street, but they they, they might come over because they have a early show. So we were like, okay, the, the ones that finish the first, they come to the other place, you know. So we have uh, everybody's in contact. This is that the communication between people and bands are really tight, you know. So, it, so that and then inspires more and more people to play music or come to the shows, and so it's excellent. Good. And the one last question is, what lies ahead in the near future for Entombed AD? No, for us is uh, like I said, we have some more uh, shows here and there, but we're gonna concentrate on making new songs and then uh, record it and release it uh, next year, and then tour again, and then we're gonna stand here in one year again. Excellent. <laughs> Excellent. So as you can hear, death metal, nothing to do with gloominess, nothing to do with all the darkness and whatever. So keep listening to death metal and hear the wise words of Mr. Pedro. Isso, isso per se. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for more stuff. If Dark Days of Helsinki 2017. Thank you for watching. Helsinki headbangers. Thank <laughs> you.